imagine that you are an employee of the company and you encounter an executive who asks why sustainable development is important and how that is linked to the team's topic. You have 90 seconds to convince that executive why this needs to be addressed. And imagine further that you're on the first floor of a 40 story building in the elevator and you've got until you get there. So take it. I'm glad you asked that Ms. Hurst. It's the absolute core of one of the issues that I've been thinking about a lot recently. As vice president of worldwide sustainability, you know the sheer scale of Amazon's recent sustainability commitments better than anyone. Our implementation of 100,000 electric delivery vehicles, setting ourselves on the path to 100% renewable energy, and undoubtedly our goal to reach 50% of shipments with net zero carbon by 2030 is inspiring. However, I struggle a lot with the fact that we frame this goal of shipment zero to include only the second half of the entire supply chain, from our fulfillment centers to the customer. As a network, XWorks and Porter, we take responsibility for items packaged at the exporter's warehouse or factory. And therefore, we have a duty to hold this first half of the supply chain to the same high standards of sustainable development that we do for the rest of our operations. The impact that shipping has on our oceans is drastic. Not only do these emissions of cargo ships continue to pollute our air and rapidly accelerate the greenhouse effect, but with each pass they make from one coast to another, the heavy fuel oil they burn continues to acidify surface waters more and more. Without implementing more sustainable shipping practices, we continue to wreak havoc on one of the Earth's most important resources, our oceans. And um, I've been researching slow steaming a lot recently. I think that for now, it could be a feasible solution to the problem at hand. I'm excited for the growth ahead of Amazon and opportunities ahead of us to continually improve and better serve our customers, but I don't think we'll have much of an Earth left to develop in the future if we don't set the standard now. Well, thank you very much, team members. Robert, you have anything that you'd like to offer before we close? Nothing else in addition to what I've already said. Thank you, though. Okay, thank really you. We enjoyed your presentation and uh, good luck in your careers.